Hey everybody, Tracy here. Thanks so much for tuning into my YouTube channel. What I want to share with you today is a transformation and this is one of my favorite things to do. I love to pull out either pieces of art that haven't worked, uh, maybe something I've gotten stuck in the middle of and I've just popped in a box and forgotten about, maybe something that I've been working on for a reel on Instagram about um, you know, it wasn't a complete work. It was just something where I was playing with, um, with, you know, dripping acrylic inks or things like that to get some good shots for some reels. Um, and so I have all of these bits and pieces in my studio that are in need of becoming something, are in need of evolving into something else. And I don't like to waste anything. I don't like to waste paint, which is why I always have these paint overs and paint challenges to use up the paint on my palette. Um, and even with, you know, the watercolor paper, if I've done something, made a few marks on a sheet of watercolor paper, I want to turn it into something. Lately, I've been having fun with um, our granddaughter, Nora, who's now three. And uh, she, her attention span is a little bit short, um, but so is mine. <laughs> so I know where she gets that from. Uh, but we've been having fun where she's been scribbling in my sketchbooks. And then I've been, we're playing a game where I'm trying to make uh, something out of her squiggles, just like Mr. Squiggle that I used to watch when I was a kid. Uh, so that's been fun. But in this one, in this particular video that I'm going to share with you today, I had a love heart. Uh, so I've just released a new class, Jump Into Acrylic Inks. And I'm sharing everything that I know about acrylic inks and it's my favorite medium and the class is going great and we've got it uh, still at the launch price of $37. Um, so we're going to keep it at that price for a while because I really want as many of you as possible out there in the world to find the magic that I have found in this beautiful medium with its vibrant colors and its ability to flow and mix and mingle on the page and, and really create magic so as I said I've been doing a lot of like filming for promo reels for Instagram and in this particular um, bit, bit of footage I had filmed a uh, creating a love heart and I have used little snippets of it on Instagram um, but I had the piece of paper with the love heart on it and I had been kind of messing around with it and it had gotten quite big and it's not anything that was like a finished piece. It was just me experimenting with the inks. And so I thought, oh, I wonder what I could turn this into. And so in this video, you are going to watch the process of me turning a an unfinished or a an unsuccessful piece uh, or just an exploratory piece into a finished piece of art. So what I want you to know when you're watching is that the ideas and what I'm doing just doesn't come out of nowhere. It doesn't come out of a vacuum. So I've been painting for 25 years and over the last few years I've been working on a series that involves lots of foliage and kind of hidden jungles and um, swans and other birds kind of in, in uh, floating in little ponds in these kind of imaginary forests. Uh, and so it has been an evolution of an idea. And so when you work at something for some time, uh, and I probably completed about 25 of these pieces in this particular series now. And so when you work at something for a while, your brain begins to recognize and understand and know the subject and also to know more easily what the next move might be. You know, what are the shapes of the foliage that I've used before? How does this color pop against this color? What happens if I bring a line over the top and then have a darker area coming up at the bottom? So the more you kind of work at a particular theme or a subject or a series, the easier it gets. So I don't want you to kind of look at what I'm doing and think, oh, how does Tracy do that? You know, I, I don't have that imagination or whatever. You do have the imagination, but it takes practice and it takes time and it takes the intention that you're going to kind of follow through and do something more than once. So oftentimes when students take my online classes, I'll say to them, please don't do the tutorial just one time. Do it five times. Do it ten times. 
do something a little bit different each time you do it. Tweak it, change it just a little bit and you'll start to watch your imagination blossom and you'll start to think of things that you really didn't think you were capable of and you'll follow through and that's how you begin to find your own unique creative voice. So join me as I go through this little exercise in turning a piece of un finished art into something completely different. Enjoy!